So now I'm going to talk about the UR Mini Awards. So the UR Mini, Undergraduate Research Mini, is really to jumpstart research for students who may not already have a mentor and for students who are in disciplines that normally have not in the past received a lot of ERCA funding. So how do we know what that is? Well, you could ask me um, on the flyers. I, I identified several areas, humanities, um, especially music, um, literature, philosophy, economics. There's very specific areas that I've identified as being not traditionally funded by IRCA awards. Social work is of interest, even computer science. So even some STEM fields have been underfunded, if you will. So anyone is welcome to apply for a UR Mini, but you may be asked to apply to the IRCA program if you aren't in one of these underfunded categories. Because my goal with the UR Mini is twofold. Increase the number of applications from all over the campus and also support undergraduate research for students who don't have traditionally sought a mentor as a first step. So how do you do that? Um, what we've done is two different things. We're encouraging the student to write uh, sort of just examples of a project or answering questions to focus a project down. And so and it's a, basically a form you fill out. Now, if you do have a mentor, you can fill that form out with your mentor. So that helps the mentor and the student kind of focus the project in a good way. Um, but a student can do this by himself without a mentor also, or herself. So what I've done with those of you are minis is identified students who had projects that were really able to be completed within a small time frame. I'm going to ask on that application, what's your time frame? And it's, if it's 10 years, then that's probably not a good answer. So I think the idea is you have a project that's a, a doable project within a semester or two. Um, one of the challenges with the UR Minis I found is that that is that chicken and the egg kind of question. How do you find a mentor if you need a mentor to help you fill out the application? What we're trying to do is then maybe what I've done this summer is identified some of those UR mini applications that didn't get funded. Then I'm trying to set those students up with a mentor. So I'm actually funding some for second summer session based on that. So that's been a successful process. I've got two of those funded now based on the fact that we've gone back and forth a little bit. I've identified, helped them identify a mentor. So I think there's different ways we can do this. One of the reasons I wanted the UR Mini is to be a little bit of a flexible program so that we can really encourage that undergraduate research. The last thing I'll say about the UR Mini is it's a very small grant, it's only $500. That's just basically going to be a student stipend. But what I've decided to do for 1819 is increase that ability so that if there's two students on a project, you can get $500 each. And another thing is, I think I would like to give a $500 stipend to the mentor also. We'll do that as a summer, probably summer 2019 stipend. So this will encourage those mentors to do a little bit. $500 isn't a lot, but it's something. So I think I've been able to look at the budget and figure out how I can make a change in those UR minis for next year. So the UR mini, again, it's a, a student has a particular idea in mind, they can fill this out. If they have a mentor, they can work with their mentor to fill it out. It would be a way to jumpstart a small project to maybe in the future that student will be able, have the ability to apply for an IRCA and get funded through.